Man, I really hope that this story isn't true. So I'm looking at Say Cheese right now. Say Cheese, Sean Cotton's uh, Instagram page. These comments that says, Sean Thomas, 50, was exonerated and given a $4.1 million settlement after he was released from a life sentence in 2017 following the overturning of his 1994 unaliving convention conviction. Thomas pled guilty to a 2023 unaliving thursday he was convicted of shooting and unaliving his girlfriend's friend akeem edwards last year after the victim alleged failed to pay 1200 for cocaine provided him to sell on top of the unaliving charges thomas pled guilty to conspiracy illegal gun possession and other charges so look if he was giving his money back in 2017 around that time and you going to jail for deleting somebody over over drugs that lets me know right there you probably didn't spend up all the money but listen even if you did all that right you rather go back to jail especially after you didn't did almost a quarter of a century i don't know if you had kids or what even if you wanted kids that's 24 years you can't get back you rather go back to the streets especially when you was exonerated you was clearly an innocent man i mean you talking about the the i mean it should have never been a second chance he shouldn't went to jail in the first place but you talking about somebody not taking advantage of the time they have left and i've seen this before as well where certain drug dealers uh get out obama gave him a pardon and then they go back to jail look i don't get it man the, the man clearly want to be in jail and i mean hey i mean what, what else can we do about it unless something self-defense there should never be a reason why you are put in a situation like this and and another thing that i guess is bothering me we know how messed up the prison system is we know how backwards it is for people who look like most of you and they look like me right they look like us and while there's people who deserve to be in jail the rest of their life and even under the jail we know that there's plenty of people out there that's innocent and due to trumped up charges and you know these crazy laws that they have out there for for us even though it's some bs right you should have never been in there you are fortunate enough to get exonerated and they admitted that it was wrong to the point where they paid you millions of dollars. I understand you pay legal fees and taxes, but man, you should have, you could easily put that money up, invested it. You know, go out there and speak about how messed up the crime system is. Be the face of that. You know, try to get laws passed. Work with Meek Mill them out there. But instead, you deleting people over drugs. So you're going right back to jail, probably with, with no money. And you was only free for, what, seven years? So majority of your life, you've been locked up. I don't know. I don't get it, man. But like I said... I'm sorry. I don't feel sorry for this brother. Why you were screwed over the first time for you to turn around and do something, man. And, and another thing, it ain't like he, he was 20 years old when he got out. I'm sure this man was pushing 50. Come on, dude. You old enough to be somebody's grandfather, at least mature wise. You you know, even though I understand you've been locked up. Come on, man. I know you're an OG in there, but man, I just, I don't know. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Do y'all agree, disagree? Am I tripping? Let me know below.